Hello everyone, so today we're going to have a look at my bullet journal equivalent type thing for 2023. Now it's not a bullet journal, but I like to use some spreads that could be considered bullet journal-esque and that's what we're going to be looking at. Now some of these will be repeats from last year from 2022, some of them will be similar to the ones you would have seen me set up in 2024 and some of them are just different. Now they are all very personal and very customised to my life but we'll talk through them so you can have a look. Now, you might notice this is the same notebook as the one I had in 2022. I got about halfway through, so I figured I could keep using it, and I literally finished the year with four pages over. So here we go. The first spread I want to show you is just me reusing the one from 2022, which is my favorite spread. So I just drew boxes around the favorites that I had already marked and then just wrote in my new favorites for 2023, as you can see. The next one, again, one that I just continued using from last year is my to consume page. So all the ones in black writing are the ones I added for this year. But as you can see, it's still not loads. <laughs> Next up, mainly over on this side of the page, I had loads more video ideas. I will be blurring this page out. And I also reused my YouTube thumbnail spread, although I changed, I added some extra lines about 2023. This next one is also one I continued using from 2022. So you can see there's a little line here to mark the separation between 2022 and 2023. And it's my theater tracker and I love this spread. And actually, I was lucky enough to see so many shows in 2023 that I ended up having to extend it onto a much later page. And I do plan on making a separate video talking about all those shows that I saw. The next one, also one that I continued using from last year, is my habit trackers. Now I fit so many habits and so many months onto this double page spread. Because by the end of the year, I was only tracking a couple of items per month. So this just worked really well for me and I've kind of copied this into my 2024 bullet journal. Now we are on to 2023. This is the official start and everything here will be a brand new spread. This you will see or have seen in my 2023 in emotions video, which I am creating and may or may not have already uploaded by the time you see this. And it's basically just a mood tracker for the year. The next page, now I am going to have to blur this out, but if you want to see what, I've done a better version of it in my 2024 journal, so I'll link that up on this side. This is my gift tracker, so I've got what it was for, the date, the person, ideas, and also what we previously gifted. And as I say, I am aware that this is all blurred out for you, but you will be able to see a better version of it in that 2024 notebook. Next up, I loved this. This was a meal tracker for a full month. I think it was the month of May. And I just wrote down what I had for supper every day. And I'm very happy I did that and how many stars I rated it. Just to get some inspiration for when one day I am back in my own house and need to cook my own food. Next up, this is what I mean when I say it's very, very personalized. This was me counting down how many more times I'd be going to each location on the river cruise. And obviously I never finished it. Although admittedly we had quite a few changes towards the end, so that's probably also contributed to that. And I also wrote down here all the tours I still wanted to do and the places I still wanted to see. Next up, a video tracker for the new year. So obviously I had a long list of videos that I wanted to film around New Year's, and then I had what it was, the date I want to publish it, when I need to film it by, and if I've done it or not, and any other information. And I think by now I've done most of these, and as you can see, I didn't fill everything out to the end of the year, but that is because I made an updated version. This, I think I've shown in a vlog, is my sweet tracker. I'll just go close up on that. Basically, I was given a big bag of sweets, and I wanted to track how many of each I had left. Again, obviously, I never quite completed it, but that's all right. And the very last thing I want to show in here is that I made a sort of grid spacing guide on this page for my new notebook when I was setting it up, plus my initial spreads. So that is my bullet journal for 2023. It improved from 2022, I would argue, although obviously it is still messy and I feel like I've definitely stepped it up again with 2024. If you have any questions or recommendations, feel free to link them or ask them down below. I will be checking the comments as always. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.